<coughs> yes, yes, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How has been your day? Hope you are all fine. My name is Dr. Owolabi Abimbola Bashir. I will be. I'm from. I'm from. I am from Abinko International Resources Limited. I will be taking you this course HTML. Uh, yes, I think uh, today is our. It's going to be our first class. And uh, as we are going to be having our first class today, we are going to start the introductory part of the HTML. For those that are new to the HTML, I think we need to, there's something that we need to know before going to the practical. We need to know what, what HTML is all about. We need to know what are the tags in HTML. We need to know what are the elements in HTML. We need to know what are the attributes of HTML. So, those things that we need to know are very, very important. And uh, before, because those are the things that we'll be using on daily basis in the course of our practical. The moment we start the practical, all those things that I'm going to be mentioning here. Eh, We've been using them constantly till the end of HTML. So please, let us know what we are doing and uh, be attentive in whatever we are doing. So this class, like I said the last time, I posted some uh, application that you people need to download in order for you to have a seamless uh, study. For those that are using laptop that will be using laptop for the lecture i told i say you should download visual studio code and it is what i'm using here it's what i use to develop my application it's what i use to do whatever i want to do when it comes to html css javascript i use visual studio code so by the time we get to the php mysql uh, apache then We'll be talking of a uh, ZAMP was uh, that will require us setting up a server, ZAMP server. Now, you know, when you want to set up a server, we cannot, we can't be using virtual server or private uh, VPN, virtual, uh, virtual private uh, server for local training. So, we need to have a local server, and for us to have a local server, we need to download the ZAMP for for us so we need to download the ZAMP so that uh, we can configure it to accept the php to accept the mysql the php admin is there php my admin where you can interact and uh, make your php code then the mysql is there for database the apache web server is already there so those are the things that we need to do but for now we are on html and uh, we need to get ourselves uh, available we need to get ourselves ready by having the visual studio code for the application for those that are using laptop for those that are using android phone you need the treble treble date then the the, the, the COVID for those that are using uh iphone plus so please let's get those application by the guy you go, go to store at apple store uh, this uh, store the 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 play store we can get those applications then we just run it and directly we follow the the the, the next 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 you get to the end of the installation so so once we are done with the installation please don't do anything just leave it like that um we are we are we are going to make a video that will help you to to, to have tell you the next thing to do after the installation how you can create a folder because uh, whatever we are going to do, do whatever we are going to do in the HTML is going to be done inside the folder. The files, the graphics, everything will be put inside single folder. So how to create those files? To create those, we are going to tell you. So just hold on after you have downloaded and uh, installed the application on your device. So today, 
like I said, we are looking at the introduction to HTML. I just I came up with a few slides just to expose us to HTML and to know what actually what it actually means. HTML generally, as we all know, it stands for the Hypertext Markos language. It's a language, it is a Markos language that we use to develop a web page. It is a language that we use to display a web page. It is a language that we use to, dis to display the graphics, the video on our web page. And our web page, those are the page of our website. The page that you see when you launch our website, those are the page, the web page. When you look at when we have the connection of those web pages together, then it becomes a worldwide web. We call it a website. So we have a, it's a connection of several web pages and a graphic and all the rest. So and for us to be able to web on our work on our web page, you can link for one for the first page that you see immediately you open your website is the home page. That home page is the web page. We call it home page because it is the major it is the major page that we allow you to link to every other page that you want to get to through the upper link. So and when we, we are going to see how to do that in our HTML. So when you click a particular link, it takes you to another page. That page is a web page too. And you click another link, you go to the menu, you click click on page, you click on a tab, it takes you to a place, it's a web page too. So for us to be able to develop that web page, we need what is called a HTML. So it is hypercourse Marcos, it is hypertext Marcos language. It is not a programming language, it is Marcos language. What, what it requires is for you to work on the tags and uh, allow the display of the content on a web uh, page. It described the structure of the web page. We want to it helps us to describe the structure to know you want to to describe the appearance of your web page, how you want your page to look like, how you want to arrange the icon, the the, the text, the graphics, the video on your page. So you use the HTML to do that. It allows you to arrange to make whatever the amendment you want to make the appearance you want to you want to your page to have. This HTML allow you to do that. HTML element tests the browser how to display the content. HTML elements, the elements, these are the content that you find, these are the things that you find from the opening tag to the closing tag. Uh, between the opening tag and the closing tag, you see what is called a content. So from the opening tag and the closing tag, it is the element. So element of the HTML and in HTML when we are when you are asked to talk about the element of the HTML, you should know that you are going to talk about the the opening tag, you are going to talk about the content, you are going to talk about the closing tag. And let me tell you something: in HTML, there is always an opening tag, there is always a closing tag. In, inside the opening tag, you see the HTML. But you are telling whatever it is. You have the HTML at the opening. You have the HTML at the closing. So what that means is that you are telling the it is you are telling the system to see every information between the closing tag, between the opening tag, and the closing tag as HTML code. So it is it, 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 that, that that is it. So for you to have when we talk of the element, so it, it helps you to arrange the element. How you want it, the content to display to appear on your web page? Is the HTML all allow you to do that? Then most of the modern, you no know, web de uh, developer of today make use of the HTML and uh, CSS together because you cannot develop you can, when you are talking of HTML. You cannot they are together. You talk of HTML, you talk of the CSS because when you have developed your website, you want your website to look fine, you want it to look nice, you want it to look attractive. You want it to attract uh, traffic, so you need CSS to make it uh, look like that, to make it look very beautiful. The design that happened on HTML on your website is, yeah, is as a result of the CSS. So we need to know that one too. Then we also need to look at the HTML tag. HTML tag is a piece of markup language used to indicate the beginning and the end of HTML element. You see, the HTML tags we like i said a lot of time we have open tag we have the closing tag the html tag we have less than then face it faces greater than that is the opening tag for the closing tag you have less than 
followed by the front uh, slash, then the greater than. So, so in between that opening and the closing is what you have the content of your HTML. So the tag, there is HTML tag, like I said, this particular HTML tag you are looking at here, is telling us that, uh, is telling us that uh, this is an opening tag, this is a closing tag. So whatever, whatever the HTML statement you want to write here, it, it will be between this opening tag and the closing tag. So it, 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 everything about HTML is between these two tags. So uh, whatever any other tag you, have, you want to define, we fall inside these two tags. So you should have it at the back of your mind that uh, once you want to start your HTML, you start with this, and to end your HTML, you start with this. And whatever the content, whatever the graphic, the, what you want to display, falls in, in between these. And by, uh, in our first uh, practical class, we are going to look at the HTML uh, skeleton. So from the HTML to HTML tag to uh, head to title to body. So we are going to look at that. So HTML tag helps a browser, a web browser to convert HTML document into a page. So once there is no tag, the document we never we cannot be compared to the web page. What make a web page to 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 appear is as a result of the display of the web tag. The information that is found inside this tag as assist the display of the web page. So uh, this is another tag. We have a picker. This is a paragraph tag. This is an email tag. The paragraph tag is telling you that uh, you are we are starting a paragraph. The image tag is that you are putting an image into the web page. So whatever this both this tag and this tag fall in between the tag of the HTML opening and the closing. So you cannot write anything outside this one. It will not be recognized as HTML code. So we need to understand that. So we also look at the, these are the different tags we have. Let, let, take for example, like this, this is a paragraph tab, tag now. This is a bold tag, this is a tag, this is underline tag. So, and every tag you have must have the opening tag and the closing tag. So, at the moment, they are defined in between the HTML closing and HTML opening. Then, it will be recognized and be displayed on our, on our web page. Uh, uh, web, web page. So, we have the graphic uh, appearance, the representation, the graphical representation of the HTML. We have the elements, we have the opening tag, we have the closing tag. The content that appear between the opening tag and the... We have the element, this is the element, this is the opening tag, this is the closing, this is the closing tag, this is the content. The, the information that appear between the opening tag and the closing tag is the content. So that thing, the element starts from the opening tag and it tells at the closing tag. So you have to know this one. Well, these are, all these things, these are the things that we are going to be making use of in our practical class. Then we want to see how we can view our the HTML of our web page. You have our web page, you have opened, you have accessed your website, and you want to see the HTML there. So what you can do is to just to right click and click inspect. The inspect will allow you to see the HTML that was used to develop that uh, website, that particular page. It will only show you that particular, that particular page where there are layers upon layers upon layer that link all those pages together to hyperlink so but so the particular page that you want to visit the is that is what you see that is what you inspect so that's the the word the, the, the word inspect is actually meant for so you can also search for any tag it's all inside that uh, inside that inspect if you see a graphic that is, that is showing on your web page i want to know the image that image uh, how that email was designed then you can you can just click uh, ctrl f then you can ctrl f that uh, img which is the tag for the image then it will show you and you can you can see it there so then we have uh, like i said there are three major parts of the html like i said earlier we have the closing tag we have the opening tag we have the content then we have the closing tag so please let us have it at the back of our mind that everything that we are going to be doing on HTML force inside these three elements. So please, so note that one and uh, have peace. So the the last page, the second to the last page that I want to introduce to you on this HTML 
they are the want to look at looking at the difference between the HTML element, HTML tag, and the attributes. We have discussed. We have told you the the elements. We start from the first from the closer tag to the closer tag. Then we also told told you about the tag itself, which is the closer tag and the closer tag. So the element is three. Why the tags? There are two. The open tag, the closer tag. The element, the artery, which is the open tag, the content, and the closing tab. So, then, the attribute. The attribute, it is the characteristic of the elements. When you have defined a particular element, so it's the characteristic of that element is the attribute. The attribute of bold tag is the bold. So, you want to make it look bigger. All that, that. So, when you are trying to, you can describe an article within an element. We can you can define the, the, define an, an, an attribute uh, an, an attribute within the content you can define it within an element so look at this one now we are defining this attribute within a particular as we are telling our HTML that the language for this is to the language we have adopted for this uh, web page is US uh, English language so you can as well take a reference the Portugal the Portuguese, Port Portuguese language and whatever any other language you want to use, you can define it as your attribute that the, 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 the system should recognize for the HTML. No, well, we, 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 that, those three things, those three clusters, those three differences, we have tabulated it and we want you to, so that you can see how it was. We have the type, it called, the, like the type that called, that was this HTML tag. It contains instruction on how to display an uh, on-page element. On-page element. The, the information between the fourth tag and the, the open tag and the closed tag is the on-page element. Then on-page content will be displayed. That is the element. That is the information itself. That, uh, the page information you are displaying is this. But from this one, there are is just the information to be displayed. But the tag, like I told you. The element starts from the open tag and ends at the closed tag. It will also contain the content. Then the tag, they are just two is open tag and the closed tag. While the attributes are the characteristic of the element that uh, you are displaying. So those are the things that I just, we just all want us to know, at least at the beginning of this uh, class. And uh, everything that I've mentioned here, uh, which is what we are going to be using till the end of the class. We are going to be making use of all these things. So please, that is why I said the introductory aspect of it is very important. You cannot just go into the practical without at least not exposing you to little, little things that we are going to make use of in the HTML uh, prayer class. So please, for those, like I said earlier, for those that have not uh, installed those applications, that I said, please go and install the application. Install the application and get into the application, you understand it better. So that is what we are going to be using. We are going to upload uh, the, 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 the video on how you can, what you can do with those applications after you have installed it. The next thing to do with it, we are going to upload it for the Android, for the iPhone, for the uh, uh, for for laptop with for the PC, so we are going to look at it. So we we'll get it together. Our target at Abiko Attention is also limited is to train one million youth. So we are looking at a way at a, at, 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 at a situation where to reduce the Japa the Japa syndrome that have been impacting to the life of uh, our youth. That we want to, our youth to understand that uh, you don't need to Japa before you make money in Nigeria. You can be in your in your room and develop application for an organization. You can organize training. You can there are so many things. You can develop portal. You can you can even get yourself better knowledge on the cyber security. You can be a white uh, hacker. You can be a blue hacker. The only thing you cannot be is black hacker. You can't be a black hacker. A black hacker is a is a, is a, is a, is a possessive threat to the cyber information so it is a crime for anybody to be black hacker but you can be blue hacker of course after all this lesson we are going to look into the cyber security uh, for those that will be interested in cyber security we are going to train you the the introduction to cyber security we are going to let you know the career path on cyber security and what are the areas that you can explore in cyber security that will fetch you 
dollars, millions, and uh, without committing any uh, cyber crime. So we have ethical cars. Ethical cars. They are not criminals, of course. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are legitimate actors. They are. They are actors that has the legal backing. You. you but they, they. 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 They do it in such a way that uh, they report the information to the organization, and the organization make use of the information. So they, 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 they discover the loophole, the vulnerability of the system, and they report it to the, the organization so that the organization can know how to block those uh, vulnerable aspects of their system. That is the work of the uh, uh, ethical hackers. So, but after all this, we are going to see how we can develop our people, how we can expose our people to ethical, to cyber security. So please, let's do what, whatever we are asked to do, let us do it. Like I said, at Abiyoko Tassan Resources Limited, we want to train 1 million Nigerian youth on how to develop websites, on how to develop. So at the end of the day, you can develop portal, you can develop website, you can do whatever you want to do. And uh, this is the phase four. And after this phase four, we are still we are going to another, another phase. So tell your people, tell your friend, circulate the, the, the link, the group, uh, a link so that people can join people so that your friend can participate and uh, gain a lot they can gain a lot they will gain a lot only by doing that. so instead of sitting down at home doing nothing or pressing your phone or going to a club or going to so please this is knowledge this is uh, invention this is innovation this is what you can it takes a courage for any organization to organize free class free training on coding on application development on web development is take courage and that's what we are trying to do at abiko international resources limited and uh, not uh, people will say what do pay for don't value it but please value this one so for your own future so if you value it you will gain a lot of it you attach value to it it will be beneficial to you so this will come to the end of the class we meet next time and as information continue to feature we will be posting it to our platform have a nice day and thank you. God bless you.